windy and that makes it tough and uncomfortable so if the kids are outside make sure they have the gloves the hat the scarf maybe I'm, come on toddlers don't wear that stuff so at least get them to wear the winter coat it feels like the 30s with actual temps in the 40s and the pollen forecast oh it's high today moderate tomorrow thursday and friday and it's because we have lots and lots of wind to spread all the dominant pollen in the skies maple poplar juniper that's the dominating pollen saturday a low pollen count Unfortunately, that means there's some rain or even snow to help settle things down. More about that in just a minute. Brush fire dangers elevated as well. Low up north due to some snowpack, but then moderate right around Boston. High fire danger to the south and east. And this is a result of no shade, no leaves on the trees, the dry, dead underbrush from the winter, and the gusty winds and low relative humidity levels. So any spark can ignite and spread very quickly this time of the year as we are in brush fire season in the northeast. Winds are gusty from the west at about 25 to 35 miles per hour. And so with a high temp today of 46 degrees, which is right on target with an average high for this time of the year in Boston, it's going to feel like 37 at best. In 30s in all spots, it feels like a wintry day here on our last day of winter. Overnight tonight, back into the 30s, and it's going to be below freezing in some of the suburbs and areas north and west. So watch, there is a chance for an isolated sprinkle to pass by overnight tonight and for the pre-dawn hours tonight too, plus a few flurries. A warm front lifts to the north and east during the morning hours and afternoon on Wednesday, and we turn breezy yet again. But that wind direction is now from the southwest. And that means temperatures will warm into the low 50s. Don't get too excited. It stays windy and then here comes some rain and the cold front behind it, ushering in even more cold air for Thursday and more wind. So Wednesday, we have this chance for a light wintry mix, brief chance for a flurry and then blustery on Thursday. The winds could be as high as 40 to 50 miles per hour for those gusts. So that's going to be a challenge, an issue for Thursday afternoon, as at least we see high pressure and control for a brief period of time, some sunshine. The temperatures are going to be very, very chilly barely reaching 40 degrees by Thursday or even Friday. Friday into Saturday, we're watching a bigger storm system here. This one looks like it'll bring in some rain, some snow, perhaps even a wintry mix from time to time. So the forecast models are not in agreement with the track or the timing of this, but we are confident that we're going to see some snow, especially in the mountains and ski areas. A quick and early look at our exclusive in-house forecast system indicates about 8 to 12 inches of snow up across the North Country. So ski season lives on. Southern New England, we could do without it. The snow is still to be determined, but there is a chance to see an inch or two maybe getting washed away by some of that rain. Stay tuned. We'll keep you posted on some of that track and the timing as we get closer and closer. But in the meantime, happy spring, 11.06 p.m. Get ready. Uh,